Welcome, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for January 30th, 2019. And I, wasn't it just 2018? It just seems like this year is going so fast. But what we like to do is we like to show you that uh, you can have a four day work week. We show you trades that are happening on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday for various reasons, and probably number one being it's the weekend. We we can trade, you can trade, but we don't bother reviewing those because, hey, wouldn't it be nice to be able to do something where you just had to, to work for four days and you had a long weekend every weekend? And that's kind of like a lot of what we're teaching is about lifestyle. It's not just, oh, you can make a lot of money trading stock options, which is true, but it also it doesn't take you an hour commute in the morning, an hour commute at night, and eight hours with a boss that's nagging you about stuff that's not important all day long, and who knows what your coworkers are like. So we worked at creating a membership, a group, a tribe, a community of like-minded individuals who enjoy being together, right? Who are not jerks, who are not uh, nasty people, who are fun to be around with. And we've created a system where you can trade that poor quality of life, 10 hour day for, you know, a few hours, we used to say 10% in 10 minutes, you know, in short trades, you can be making a significant amount of money enough to finance any type of lifestyle that you want within reason. And that's what we're here to show you. We're here to show you that there are trades that can be made every day. They can, you can make from five to 25. We had one example where it was 76%. That's an outlier, you know, but if you're not playing the game, if you're not checking your stocks and stock options, uh, you're not going to be able to take advantage of those huge rogue waves that occur from time to time. It's kind of like surfing, you know, every once in a while you get the perfect surf wave. Well, if you're not out in the water, you're not going to be able to surf it. So we're here to show you possible the system works the training works the software works and if you work this is open an opportunity for you this is an open opportunity for you so i'm scott he's coach rob coach rob it's the end of january obviously it's cold it's miserable there's been like snowstorms galore along the east coast the polar vortex has come down so it froze everything there is nothing happening today <laughs> Oh, I wish it was that easy, Scott. You can't you can't stop some of these stocks and, and indices uh, from moving. And don't forget, we also have earnings coming out towards the end of January, so that'll send markets moving because investors will will react to earnings, whether they're poor or positive for that company. It doesn't really matter to us as options day traders because it could send whether it sends the the stock price up or down. Uh, all we want is a nice, distinguishable, tradable trend. So we could take a look at a couple of those. One of the stocks I wanted to get into today was Boeing. It had a really, really strong kind of indicators going into the day that that said, hey, maybe this will have a good move. Again, we don't really pay attention to the news. It's just basically look at the behavior of the stock in recent days. and Boeing had a, a nice gap that went up way above its last. This is on the daily chart. So each one of these candles is a day. So coming into the, the 30th today, we, we can see Boeing had a big gap up. And we don't know what that's going to translate to during today's market because we're not predicting anything. We do know that there could be some power. So all this is, it just boils down to, hey, it might be worth keeping an eye on Boeing. So put it on your favorites list. Put on your watch list, which are so special lists you can manipulate uh, within the program, and just practice using those tools to help keep an eye on the movers. And the movers are where the profit potential is. So if Boeing is shaping up here because of that huge gap up, let me move our option buyer. That huge gap up, we're just we're paying attention now. These wicks early in the day are telling you that there's some indecision. Bulls and the bears are struggling, but they're meeting in the middle on Boeing. So wait for it to make a, a declaration of what it's going to do on the day. And that's pretty much it right there. It's telling you, hey, a good move. Again, we don't really pay attention to the news. It's just basically look at the behavior of the stock in recent days 
and Boeing had a, a nice gap that went up uh, way above its last. This is on the daily chart. So each one of these candles is a day. So coming into the, the 30th today, we, we can see Boeing had a big gap up. And we don't know what that's going to translate to during today's market because we're not predicting anything. We do know that there could be some power. So all this is, it just boils down to, hey, it might be worth keeping an eye on Boeing. So put it on your favorites list, put it on your watch list, which are some special lists you can manipulate uh, within the program and just practice using those tools to help you keep an eye on the movers. And the movers are where the profit potential is. So if Boeing is shaping up here, because that huge gap up, let me move our option buyer. That huge gap up, we're just we're paying attention now. These wicks early in the day are telling you that there's some indecision. The bulls and the bears are struggling, but they're meeting in the middle on Boeing. So wait for it to make a a declaration of what it's going to do on the day, and that's pretty much it right there. It's telling you, hey, okay, we just not only did we break away from opening price, but we are got we got signal in the background. J-stop is now on our side. That's that arrow right there. And we're outside the risk zone. We just broke RF, uh, which is a pretty high up one. The only reason we got up to RF is because of that huge gap overnight. And the CLV is less than 10. Uh, so let's just get confirmation because it was such a wild gap. We get one more candle confirmation. Okay, so we got lower lows. It's cascading down, got a little waterfall action. It's going against the green market. So let's be have a conservative strategy here. We'll buy a put. And we'll just see how she behaves, see if the market brings Boeing up or if Boeing keeps its rogue status and breaks away from the market. And we're still getting lower lows. Now we've got this K-band signal in the background, and that's one of our exclusive indicators within Trader Genius. And this works for options and stocks. It's just a very powerful moment uh, when K-Band comes on. So you can get some nice moves coming. And now we're just Boeing moving one one minute forward at a time. is showing us that it's it didn't really care that the bulls were out in the rest of the market here. And now the market, you can see up here, uh, representation has hit, hit that neutral point. Now it's starting to turn into a bear market. So that's a nice... I guess, wind at our, our backs to have some market support. And we'll just keep moving forward. If Boeing keeps getting lower lows, there's no reason to ever stop, get out. So at this point, I would coach my students to just keep an eye on all the factors, see if there's anything just that's starting to tell you, hey, it might be a good time to get out. The blue star is another indicator that only Trader Genius has. It's a combination of, of multiple factors. Uh, so that's that's one that's a possible exit indicator, as well as the bull market coming back to 2026 20, on the minute log. So we'll just keep an eye on those. We'll move forward uh, another minute and see how far we get. Okay, now we're starting to get some resistance. So this might be the time to to exit, but we'll just we got J stop on our side. We still got that strong red signal, and you know sometimes there's flutter. Now we're now we're talking. Uh, we're sitting at 21 percent. And it's it's getting pretty pretty far into its daily range. It's almost to 100. So we can exit right there with 21%. Doesn't really matter what happened after that, but it went a little bit lower. So could have been some more profit potential. And then later on, it started another move. That's that's another tradable trend. So I'd say that's that's my tip for the day: is watch watch it, wait for it to declare a direction. It's not going to run forever, but when it does stop, we call this taking a breath. When it goes sideways like this, it's just, you know, the, the sellers can only dominate this stock for so long and move that price down. And eventually they're going to need to take a breath. So that's, we anthropomorphize the, the stocks in that way. So we make them kind of human. It was tired. It ran a sprint <laughs> during our trade and it got tired. So it needed to take a breather, but there's there's generally if it's if it's a really red day and we kind of knew that coming in if it's shaping up to be a red day there's a good chance there will be another red move later that you can that you can trade and no one said that you only trade one stock once in the day 
Right. And you know what? You, you referenced that in, in the introduction, Scott, was was that 76 percent, I believe it was on Apple. And that was on a single trade. Yes. Those are that's we're, we're aiming for singles here. Right. We're not trying to get rich overnight or get rich quick. You want singles, not home runs. And you want to build your you generate income, not not necessarily wealth building, but income generation. There's two ways to skin that cat, though. You could get that 76% on a single trade that's high risk to do it that way. And you, you're going to have to put a large stake down. You have to risk a lot of your, your trading account to do so to make that substantial profit. Or you could make that 76% up in five, five separate trades that are a higher likelihood and lower risk of or a higher likelihood of being profitable and lower risk. Right. Absolutely. And 20% is nothing to sniff at in five minutes. Yeah, that's that's a really really good day. If this is this is a home run, seventy six percent in one trade is like a grand slam to win the World Series, you know, walk off <laughs> style. <laughs> but you know, and it's interesting you bring up the home run thing. Like Babe Ruth was, you know, the home run king. I don't know if he still is, but for for decades. And what no one ever talked about was how many times he struck out, which was not much less than the number of times he had a home run. So. <laughs> You know, we don't want to strike out very much. And uh, if that means, you know, getting the single base hits, then that's great. Because if you get four single base hits, like one home run, and if there's no risk or a lot less risk, then that uh, makes it a high, a high value target, right? That's right. And, and so instead of being a big slugger like Babe Ruth or Hank Aaron, I teach my students, no, we want to be a singles hitter. We want to be like Tony Gwynn, really high batting average. If he get a, if he got his pitch, uh, like a fastball right down the middle, just stroke a single, don't take too much, don't try to do too much. And the translation to trading is a, a 3% or 7% gain that you can repeat over and over when the conditions are right is much more valuable than five strikeouts to every home run. Which, which will really be detrimental to your bank account. So, yeah, really, really good analogy there. Cool. So we hit, we hit our uh, base hit. We're on first. Are we going to be able to get to second today? I think we will. Should we steal second? Should we steal second? Yeah, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> okay. So like we said before, we don't really pay attention to the news. We just watch behavior. And as noted, there are – Bull trends where the market goes up, bear trends where the market goes down. So within the same day, you can have a really nice put, which is where we make money in options on, on the, the stock going down, uh, decreasing in price. But a call option is where we make money on a stock going up. So you can have those within the same day for sure, because the market can change from one minute to the next. So you can witness both, both trends as they happen. Baba is one that had a nice green move. Let me move these secondary windows out of the way. Baba had a nice green start to the, to the day. So that set the tone, and it had a pretty healthy range within that first eight minutes of, of the day. It got up there pretty high and even hit the blue star where the risk zone crosses over. And then it kind of went sideways, and some of the bears came in and, and got their piece, their slice of the pie. And if we move forward to that... 10:30, bottom of the 10 o'clock hour. It was okay. It was telling us the story early. Strong move, high volume. Then the volume was still present, but dropped off a little bit. And this roller coaster here, or these ups and downs, we just call that cyclical action and sideways or indecision on the parts of the bears out there and the bulls. So neither the buyer, neither the buyers or the sellers are dominating this stock at this moment, but we're starting to get some clear indications that the bulls, the buyers, are gonna be out very soon on BABA. So if we move forward one minute, we're starting to get a breakout where the highest we've been since that 945 top, and there's a good chance that, and we were talking about singles a minute ago, we get into this stock with renew uh, at, at the bottom of the hour, so the time window's in our favor. We've got Signal, we've got K Band coming back on. J Stop, as I said, is in our favor, and we've got so we've got the Fantastic Four working for us, and we've also got market support. And when I say singles, I mean this 
Y point line right here is a really good profit planning point. It's also essentially the 945 top in that same ballpark. So from 163 up to 164, we have a pretty good profit potential. We can get a nice single out of this. We're not looking for a home run. But if we got if we run into a, a homer, no big deal. We'll take that too. So let's let's take this moment. We'll buy a call. And we'll move forward one minute at a time to see what Baba does for us and just in general. So we're starting to get some exceptional volume in that next minute with a nice fat candle, higher high, K band stays on, and the market is still with us. And we're seeing the most volume that we've seen since since earlier in the morning where it had that nice green move. So that's a good indication. Everything's shaping up. We keep moving one minute at a time. And within two minutes, we're already at 10%. And we're nearing that 164 price point. But the CLV is at 93. So we still got a, a couple of more ticks to go until it gets to that previous top where we blue starred. So let's see what happens. We're still getting higher highs. But we do have a volume spike. That's volume spike is exceptional volume and the wick is on the top so now so the price up. went up and then it dropped back down that's right and so just case in point so if we back up a minute and then we can move forward 10 seconds at a time with our replay controller so we'll see how this uh this candle shaped up over you know in six increments over that minute so here we are at 10 seconds so just watch that and watch how the candle takes shape and you can see it had gone up it filled up there but now the, the current price is where that green the top of this green section this is the range that it had during that minute so the wick is just the range it's not the current price it's just kind of the territory it's covered in that minute so if the wick is on the top that means that it was high at one point and then it came back down right so right there and we, we traced yeah and then at the end of the minute we, we still had some good buyer action. The market's still supporting us, and we're at 13%. And we're really what's probably causing that wick to, to present itself in that way is the 164 price. Yeah. You can see yeah. it's kind of freezing right there. So let's just be cautious, move forward, and see what, what we can get out of it. That's 19% in, what, four minutes? I think we entered at 1031. And it's, but it's still getting higher highs. So the ends of the minutes, if you have the patience to wait for them, are telling you a story where this this thing doesn't really show any Whoa. signs of stopping until you get that big spike. And you're touching a really heavy resistance line. You are in new territory, but now we've got an even bigger volume spike. And things just tend to, these, the price action tends to just stick to these resistance lines. So we're hitting a ceiling and we have high, we have a, a spike in volume, which generally we notice that not every time, but often they're at the beginning or end of a move. And since we are in a move, it's not the beginning. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's pretty clear that that move has been going on for a while. So yeah, this is a good time to take your 29%, which is an exceptional uh, amount of profit in a single trade, especially in a seven minute trade. And from 10.31, I'm sorry, six-minute trade, 10.31 to 10.37, we made 29%. Beautiful. Yeah, the volume spike and the, and the RC line are kind of like your coach on third telling you to stop at second. Don't try to get to third. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, good, good one. Good metaphor. We were trying to keep the same metaphor for the, for the whole uh, episode, right? <laughs> That's right. Perfect. So we had... Uh, we had two really good uh, trades today. Yeah, one one put and one call. One put and one call. So you can you don't have to go the same way all day. You take you take what the market gives you. That's right. So five minutes twenty point nine, six minutes twenty nine point zero. Pretty good day. Well done, Rob. I think you can take the rest of the day off now. <laughs> That's right. You can go do whatever you want. You can walk on your hands or you know, blow your nose, whatever, whatever, you know, it takes you. Just don't get in a car and, and do an hour commute to work. <laughs> yeah, don't do something you don't want to do. You, you have freedom of choice to do whatever. That's right. That's right. Awesome. So uh, we're going to take our freedom of choice now and say thank you very much for joining us, everybody. Thank you, Coach Rob, for sharing this. 
Uh, this has been the Day Trader uh, Genius Daily Review for January 30th, 2019. I appreciate you uh, checking us out and look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.